think you just saved your engine with a fresh oil change? You might have just signed its death warrant. What if I told you that some of the most catastrophic engine failures happen not from neglect, but immediately after that fresh oil hits the pan? No warning lights, no loud bangs, just a quiet, creeping destruction that costs thousands. And it happens every single day. Stick around, because I'm about to walk you through nine critical errors to avoid after an oil change. Plus one final tip almost everyone overlooks. Let's start with error number nine, the silent seal sabotage. In the world of oil changes, it's the tiny unseen things that cause the biggest explosions. At the top of that list, a double layered gasket disaster. Here's the scene. You unscrew the old filter, but its rubber seal decides to play hide and seek, clinging invisibly to the engine block. You install the new filter right over it. What you've created isn't a seal at all, but a guaranteed leak path. It starts as a few innocent drops, graduates to a puddle, and if ignored, leaves your engine running on fumes. The prevention is laughably simple. After the old filter is off, run your finger across the mounting surface. Feel for that leftover gasket. This five second check can prevent a $5,000 repair, but if you think that's the only stealthy threat, just wait. Error number eight, the chilled out catastrophe. A surprisingly common misstep is draining your oil when the engine is stone cold. It seems harmless, right? Wrong. Thick, cold oil moves like molasses. It clings to engine internals and leaves a significant portion of the dirty, used oil sludge trapped inside. When you add fresh oil, it immediately mixes with this leftover contamination. You paid for a full change but only got a partial one. The correct method? Fire up the engine and let it idle for 5 to 10 minutes to reach operating warmth. This thins the oil, suspends the debris, and allows nearly all of it to drain away you'll see the difference in the color and flow. It's a minor time investment that guarantees a genuinely clean slate for your engine. Ready for a mistake that's even more counterintuitive? Error number seven, the drowning engine. Here's a belief that ruins engines. If some oil is good, more must be better. Absolutely not, overfilling is a silent killer. When the oil level is too high, the spinning crankshaft acts like a blender, whipping the oil into a frothy, aerated foam. This foam cannot lubricate, Critical components like bearings and pistons run dry, leading to rapid wear, overheating, and increased pressure that blows out seals. How do you avoid it? Add oil slowly and check the dipstick frequently. Always ensure the final level is snugly between the min and max marks, and always check on level ground. Your engine craves precision, not excess. Now, let's talk about the mistake people make right when they think they're finished. Error number six, the premature celebration. You've drained, refilled, and tightened. Job's done, not even close. Failing to perform a final verification is how people accidentally drive off with a problem. Here's the crucial step. After the initial refill, start the engine. Let it run for two to three minutes. This circulates oil, filling the new filter in all the galleries. Then, shut it off. Wait a few minutes for the oil to settle back into the pan and check the dipstick again. This second reading is the only accurate one. You might find you're suddenly a quart low. This step also lets you spot any major leaks immediately. Don't let your rush to finish be the reason you don't start tomorrow. And speaking of starting, error number five, the dry start scare. This one is insidious. You screw on a brand new bone dry oil filter. When you start the engine, the oil pump has to fill that empty filter before sending oil to the vital components. For those first few seconds, your engine endures a dry start with critically low lubrication. Do this once, maybe it's okay. Do it every oil change and you're grinding down your engine's lifespan. The solution is beautifully simple. Before installation, pour a small amount of fresh oil into the new filter to pre-soak the media. Also lightly coat the rubber gasket with oil. This ensures immediate oil pressure the instant you turn the key. A little preparation prevents a world of premature wear. Error number four, the parched gasket gamble. That O-ring on your filter isn't just a part. It's the guardian of your oil supply. Installing it dry is asking for trouble. A dry rubber seal can twist, bind, or even tear as you tighten the filter. That microscopic tear might hold for a while, but under heat and pressure, it will eventually fail, dumping your oil on the highway. The mechanic's secret, a dab of oil on the fingertip, swiped around the entire circumference of the gasket. This lubrication allows it to seat perfectly and seal reliably. It also means the filter won't weld itself to the block, making your next change a breeze. But force isn't always your friend, as the next error brutally proves. Error number three, the thread killer tightening. We get it, you want it secure. But turning the drain plug into a modern art sculpture with a breaker bar is a recipe for disaster. That plug doesn't need Herculean force. It needs to be snug. 
Over-tightening strips the soft threads of your oil pan, cracks it, or even shears the bolt head right off. Suddenly, your simple maintenance requires a new oil pan or a professional thread repair. The proper method is to tighten the plug until the washer makes contact, then give it a gentle additional quarter turn. If you have a torquey wrench, use it. Remember, it's a seal, not a structural support. Too tight is often worse than too loose. Error number two, the wrong juice in the machine. Oil is oil, is a philosophy that has ended more engines than bad luck. Every engine is engineered for a specific oil viscosity, like 5W30 or ZW20, and type, conventional, synthetic, blend. Using oil that's too thick can starve the engine at startup. Oil that's too thin can fail under high heat. This isn't just about performance. Using the incorrect oil can void your manufacturer's warranty. The rule is non-negotiable. Open your owner's manual and use exactly what it specifies. Don't guess, your engine's life depends on this precision, and your car's computer is trying to tell you something too. Error number one, the digital denial. The ultimate modern mistake is ignoring your car's oil life monitoring system. That light or percentage isn't a suggestion, it's a calculated diagnosis. Your car's computer tracks temperature, load, RPMs, and time to determine when the oil's protective additives are depleted. Ignoring it is like dismissing a smoke alarm. You're inviting sludge, accelerated wear, and premature failure. Plus, many cars log this data. When you go to sell, a savvy buyer or dealer can see you've consistently ignored maintenance alerts, crushing your resale value. The fix? When the monitor says it's time, change the oil. Then, don't forget to reset the system. Your dashboard is your ally, not your adversary. And now, the one final critical tip almost no one does. The patient's send-off. You've changed the oil perfectly. The temptation is to drive off immediately. Resist it. Start the engine and let it idle for 30 to 60 seconds. This gives the new oil a chance to fully circulate, build stable pressure, and reach every nook and cranny before you introduce the stress of driving. It's a simple courtesy that rewards you with long-term reliability. So there you have it. Nine ways a simple oil change can go horribly wrong and how to make sure yours goes perfectly right. Which of these mistakes did you find most surprising? Let me know in the comments below. Your story could save someone else's engine. And if you want more truth about keeping your gear running forever, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Gearverse. We're here to help you drive smarter, not harder.